Hey tennis friends, I'm here at the beautiful Claremont Club in Claremont, California for a men's futures event on the USTA Pro Circuit Tour. The matches have already started on center court, so let's get out there now and check out the action. In this round of 16 match, receiving in the near court from India is Prakash Armitraj. If that name sounds familiar, yes, that is the son of India's great player, Vijay Armitraj. Serving in the near court is Devin Britton from the United States, who he last saw on GroundsPass.net two years ago at this event where he made the final. Now Prakash Armitraj to serve. After a changeover, Devin Britton to serve from the near court. Oh Prakash Armitrage serving from the far court. After another changeover, Devin Britton to serve from the far court to Prakash Armitrage. <laughs> I'm here right now with the winner of that match, Prakash Armitrage. Prakash, that was a tough match out there today. It was. It was. Hot conditions out there today. Um, you know, it's a pretty quick court. Devin plays good serve and volley tennis, so I knew it was going to be a tough match. Got a little tight there in the second. I think I had some chances early, but um, I was happy to squeeze it out in a breaker. Well, you mentioned that it's hot out. Actually, the temperature is a beautiful day here in Southern California, but there's a little bit of uh, wetness in the air. Yeah, reminds me of uh, back in India a little bit. <laughs> You know, it's uh, not as humid, but, um, you know, it definitely gets to you. You know, you play a few long games and uh, you can feel it. I've, um, I've been lucky enough to have a little time off, so I've been doing a lot of physical work, so it hasn't been as bad, but um, nothing beats, you know, playing tennis on a day in Southern California. I hope you don't mind me saying this. You're not one of the younger players out there. No. Right? And you're aware of that. But, you know, I mean, how about things like when Marty Fish and stuff like that, they turn their game around and they get a lot more points and they start moving up. Does that inspire you? Are you looking at, at people like that or do you have your own your own thing that you're doing? Um, well, I, I feel like I have my you know, own thing that I'm doing, but it coincides with a lot of what you know, those guys have to say. Um, my time away from the game, I felt, you know, matured me a lot and uh, gave me some stuff that I lacked when I was a bit younger in the game. And, um, you know, the body is not as uh, worn out as it could be had I been playing, you know, a uh, year in and year out for the last 10 years. So, you know, I think it's all in the mind. You know, I feel good and, um, you know, mentally, you know, I feel fresh. I think that's the key. You've been on the tour for a while now and you've had some ups and downs. Uh, where do you assess your game at this point of the year, this year? 
Um, well, actually, it's um, this is my first tournament back, really, after two years. Um, right after Wimbledon 2010, um, I took a break from the game. I had some injuries, took some time off, and, um, you know, just got back into it. Uh, body and mind are feeling good. So right now it's about just getting a ton of matches for me. Well, you've made it into the quarterfinal round here at Claremont, so you're going to be playing the next couple days, hopefully continuing. Uh, what are your plans past this tournament? Um, right now, as I said, it's about getting a ton of matches, so I'll plan on playing the three Southern Cal features here, and then uh, after that, uh, hopefully jump into some challengers. In the next round of 16 match on center court, receiving in the Alex far court Bogdanovich, is Mark sir. Vareth from Australia. Serving in the near court is Alex Bogdanovich from Great Britain. After a changeover, Alex Bogdanovich is served from the far court. After another changeover, Mark Vareth to serve from the far court. Now watch the sportsmanship on this point. Mark Vareth is serving. The serve is out, but no call is made by the lines person. So the chair umpire awards the point. 40 low. Alex Bogdanovich points out the obvious, and so does Mark Vareth. Check the chair. So the chair instead awards a second serve on an obvious missed call by the lines person. I love to see sportsmanship like that. After a changeover, Mark Vareth to serve. Alex Bogdanovich to serve from the far court. After another changeover, Mark Vareth serving. I'm here right now with the winner of that match, Alex Bogdanovich. Alex, that was a tough three-setter out there today. Yes, it was. Uh, obviously, my opponent uh, had a big game, big serve, and uh, uh, big, big, big ground strokes. And the court's out here pretty fast, so um, I just try to, you know, stay in with him and keep my serve and every opportunity I had that to try to take. Well, you mentioned his big serve. He is a big guy. He had some big serves, but you know what? You had your own big serve. You were coming back with some aces yourself. Yeah, I, I did. I, I think that was the goal for today. Just try to hold on to my serve, and if I get a chance, and you know, take a break. But uh, yeah, because it's always going to be difficult if he serves well uh, on these fast courts. So, uh, and I took that chance early on in the first set, and then came again in the third. Well, you're the number one seed of this tournament. You made it into the quarterfinal round. How are you feeling about your game this week? Um, pretty good. I mean, too, I, I was out for like three or four weeks. Uh, I haven't played a lot of matches, so for me, it was just kind of coming here and getting as many matches as possible. Um, so I'm just really taking it one at a time. Uh, I think I've got two more here futures and a few more challenges. So just week by week and see how that goes. On center court now is one of the doubles semifinals featuring all United States current and former college stars. Receiving in the far court just out of USC is Daniel Nguyen with his partner Ryan Rowe from University of Illinois at the net. This team is the number three seed. At the net in the near court from Ole Miss is Devin Britton, who is part of the number one seeded team with Reed Carlton from Duke, who will now serve. After a changeover, Devin Britton will now serve from the far court to Daniel Nguyen in the near court. Daniel Nguyen to serve to Devon Britton. Once again, Devon Britton serving to Daniel Nguyen. After another changeover, Ryan Rowe to serve from the far court to Reed Carlton.
It's match point for the number one seeds in a super tiebreaker as Reed Carlton serves to Daniel Nguyen. Out. Game, set, and match. Bridget Carlton. I'm here right now with the winners of that match, Reed Carlton and Devin Britton. Guys, that was a great match. You know, the first set was a really good set. The second set got a little difficult out there. Yeah, I mean, we got uh, we got up an early break. We were up 3-1, couldn't uh, consolidate it, and uh, just kind of lost the momentum after that. So, But it was nice we could rebound and play a good super breaker. How did you guys meet up? How did you guys team? Is this the first time you've teamed up? Yeah, this is the first time we played together. Uh, you know, I just Facebook messaged him one day last week. You know, I didn't. Neither of us had a partner, luckily, so it worked out. Worked out well. So partnering up now is being done through Facebook, yeah, and there's. It can be done. Through Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Now, did you have a lot of time to practice? Because you know, on my side, I talk a lot about uh, I features my USTA league play, and about how important it is to practice with your partner. But if you're hooking up on Facebook, how much time do you guys have to practice? Yeah, we definitely didn't have much time at all. I mean. Uh, you kind of just got to go with it and try to figure it out in the matches and stuff because, you know, we, we get here a couple days early. We hit a couple of times, but besides that, you know, we kind of just got to feel it out on the court, so. Well, I did notice that you were using hand signals and stuff like that, so obviously you coordinated some stuff like that. Was that stuff you talk about, or is that just standard hand signals? Mostly standard, I would say. I mean, most college players have a pretty good uh, doubles grasp, so, um, so yeah, I mean, it's fairly easy if once you, if you're playing with another college guy, I feel like uh, the doubles comes pretty easy, pretty naturally. Yeah. Well, that was a semi-final match. You guys have made it into the finals. How are you feeling about your game and playing together this week? Feeling pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, we got through a tight win today, which is going to, you know, help us come to the finals. It's always good to squeeze those 10-point tiebreakers out. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're, I think we're playing pretty well. We can probably return a little better here going into the finals. But, you know, feeling pretty good. That certainly was an exciting day of tennis. And since this report is posted early enough on Saturday, you still have time to get out to the Claremont Club by 10 o'clock because that's when the semifinal action starts. And you can also show up for the final action on Sunday. Be sure to get online now at USTA.com and check out the Pro Circuit calendar so that you can find out when there's a next Pro Circuit Futures or Challenger event in your area. It's always great to come out to these events. You get to learn a little bit more about the game. You get to see some tips and see some terrific tennis. Well, that wraps it up for me from the Claremont Club in Claremont, California. I'll see you next time with more tennis outside the lines. <laughs>